Hey, it's uh, Wiltshire again, uh, here to show you a tutorial on uh, how to return your PSP firmware back to original from uh, custom firmware. Uh, what you're going to need is your um, Pandora's battery and your normal battery, which I have on my right here. Uh, a memory stick that has been MSP format and um, the files have been copied from the Slim Plus Fat folder and uh, the IPL has been written with Pandora's GUI which I will provide the files in the description so I'm going to sh start showing you guys how to uh, turn it back to normal okay these lights should flash that uh, should automatically come on and there should be some writing now what you want to do, instead of pressing X like my other video, what you want to do is press circle. And it should like the other, look like the other one. It's uh, loading stuff. It's doing a lot of things. Uh, you're just going to have to wait a bit. I will uh, be making another tutorial on uh, how to hack your 1000 and 2000 without a Pandora's battery so you guys won't have to wreck your uh, battery there. And uh, that will be posted soon as well. Alright, see it's finished. Now just like the same as the other video, just press X to shut it down. And take out the Pandora's battery. And insert the normal battery into the cover. Put this on so it doesn't fall out. Turn it back on. should look like, uh, don't, don't worry about that UMD sound, as I said, it's, this is a broken PSB, well, partially, and the UMD is broken, so it'll make stupid sounds. Like the other video I did, um, this, uh, it, it was, um, 3.8 MPQ negative 5, now it's 3.80, and that's how you to return your PSB back to normal.